formula for simple feature all right so there is a um, positive and a negative form and a positive form we call the interrogative form all right okay guys let's analyze on this table man you know for the formula for simple feature all right so like example here we have the pronouns and we have the auxiliary verb we have the verb that is the main verb then we have the positive and the negative. So the positive is the interrogative form. All right, okay, guys, let's go. I'm talking about I. I is the first person pronouns. Uh, the auxiliary verb is there. What will is the auxiliary verb, and the main verb is it. So in the positive form, we gotta have I will eat. I will eat. But first, I gotta be I eat. I eat. All right, okay, guys, let's go. So the negative form gotta be I won't eat. I won't eat. Then the other way else we can say, I will not eat. All right? Okay, guys, let's go. So the second person pronouns you. Um, the auxiliary verb will. And the main verb eat. Um, the positive form going to be, you will eat. You will eat. The first thing going to be, you eat. You. You. You eat. You eat. All right? That is the first form, okay? All right, so the negative form going to be, you won't it you won't eat then what are we gonna be you will not eat all right okay guys let's go so um we're talking about it that is the third person pronouns we're talking about it she he all right so if we use it um the auxiliary verb or is also the same as we and the verb there is it um what and the positive gonna be it we it it we it ill elite 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 the faster way okay all right so the negative form gonna be it won't it it won't it all right what are we gonna be it will not it all right okay so just like i say the third person pronouns we have he she it so we already talk about it so now let's talk about he and she so um so here we gotta have what the auxiliary verb will remain at the same uh the verb there it um so the positive i'm gonna be she will eat she will eat but the first way i can say she'll eat she'll she'll eat she'll eat all right so the negative form gonna be what she won't eat she won't eat so won't um is a contraction for will not so i can also say she will not eat all right okay guys let's go make cultural and creative gifts t-set business gifts customize uh, ceramic product gifts so now let's talk about the plural form you know so let's talk about the plural form for the interrogative and the negative form so this is the plural form so in the plural form we have the same as uh, pronouns auxiliary verb verb positive and negative all right the positive is the interrogative form okay guys let's go talking about will so here uh with the plural form we're going to talk about what we call will we have we will so here is we and we is the plural form all right so um the verb there gonna be what it's so in the positive form we're gonna have we 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 it yeah like really um the reason like when you talk about we will eat um that is better english you know yeah but like here mostly if you want to speak fast maybe likely can you shall because when we talk about simple feature we are talking about will and sh uh, will and shall and will and shall these are the auxiliary verb but here most of the time we use shall by saying we shall eat because the reason be we will eat is more difficult to pronounce but we shall eat is more faster you gotta you know you gotta realize this man okay all right so here i can say we shall eat all right although shall is old-fashioned english you know when that is the um, six years days you know what i mean you know a long time 1990 i don't know like 1991 we use shall we don't use shall much again you know shall maybe just in form of questions but we don't use it like that so most of the time we use will now but i'm just saying because of pronunciation so you can also say we shall eat it's okay it doesn't matter old function person are you an old function it doesn't matter man all right guys okay let's go 
So let's go to the negative form. The negative form, we gotta say, we won't eat. We won't eat. So yeah, we won't eat is okay. By using by, sh uh, we shall not eat. Shall is old fashioned English. So it's just better to use won't. Okay? Just better to use will. We will not eat. We will not eat is better. But if you want to speak fast, you can say, we shall not eat. We shall know it, all right? But although it's an old-fashioned English, but because of the pronunciation, you want to say it fast, I think it's better way. But remember, it's an old-fashioned English, all right? Okay, guys, let's go. They, that is the word, the plural form. So uh, the auxiliary verb will, um, the verb there, that is the main verb, um, it. Then we have the positive form going to be, they we eat. They we eat. So, and the short form going to be, they'll eat they'll eat they'll eat they'll eat all right that is short in form man it doesn't yeah uh it is not common but most of the time we say they will eat they'll eat that it depends on you all right they'll eat all right okay guys let's go they won't eat so they won't eat all right so the other way around is gonna be what they will not eat they will not eat all right okay guys let's go if you say um if you say like they'll not eat they'll they'll not eat it depends so, as far as somebody understood you that is the most important thing they'll they not eat they not eat that is a contraction form all right it depends how you want to say it you know like native speakers they have different way you know they have different accents and different way um, to pronounce and different accents. It depends how you want to use it. The most important thing, try to use the standard one. That is the most important so people can understand you. All right. Okay, guys, let's go. So now we're talking about indefinite pronouns. Of course, we're going to talk about definite pronouns. If we are talking about pronouns, then we're going to talk. If we're talking about pronouns, first person, second person, third person pronouns, then we're going to talk about the indefinite pronouns. Everyone, no one. We have a lot of definite pronouns. You can check for them. I think I have a video for your um, definite pronouns, okay? So, um, uh, indefinite pronouns. You gotta remember indefinite pronouns. So, indefinite, indefinite pronouns, we have what the words about we and the main verb it. And in the positive, gonna be everyone we eat. This indefinite pronouns, everyone we eat. So, the negative form gonna be what? No one we eat. So, no one represents a negative form. No one we eat. Okay? Or sometimes we can use none we eat so no one no this is a negative form all right in indefinite pronouns all right okay guys let's go so all the definite pronouns we call someone so here like um the auxiliary verb will and the main verb eat and the positive gonna be what someone we eat all right someone we eat that is indefinite pronouns someone we eat all right so in the indefinite pronoun gonna be none we eat so none is a negative form no we eat all right okay guys let's go no we have a lot to do man let's go guys